Coach Quebec. I'm here today to teach you about art journaling and basically what art journaling is, it is your creativity put into a book. It can be about anything that you want it to be, it can be about um, your family, it can be about your friends, anything that you have in mind. You can use poetry, you can use photos, you can use stuff that you print from the internet. Um, it can be lyrics to a song. It's not that complicated. It's very relaxing. And yeah, so let's get started. So basically what you're gonna need is paint, a journal, glue sticks, rubber gloves, scissors, markers, pencil, tape, sponges, and printouts. Uh, what you want to try to remember is that it's very important for you to gather up the things that you need before actually applying it to the paper in your journal. So what I did was I chose two patterns that I wanted. I wouldn't call them patterns, printouts. Uh, I like owls, so I chose an owl. I don't own this sketch. It's just a random picture that I took off of the internet. Also, these kind of things, I like these old fashion letter type of uh, pictures so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out a piece of this and use one of them on the side for now to have that done and then this I'm gonna cut out as well now I'm not cutting perfectly because I do want to leave some space around the design to put paint over. So I got these two designs that I'm going to be using for my art journal today. That on the side. Now I want to choose some colors. This is where their gloves come in handy because it can get pretty messy. I'm going to take our sponge and a color of your choice, doesn't really matter. I'm going to put some on here and then I'm going to check how it looks. Okay, now it seems a little too plain for me to just use silver so I'm going to add another color to that. I'm thinking maybe light blue. So I'm going to take the other side of that and shake it. Add a little blue there. Let's see how it works. Now that's one choice. I can add a little bit more silver to it though. Just to make it look slightly icy, I guess you could say. I'll add a little bit more blue. Blend them in together. I kind of like it. Let's move on to other colors. So this is what I have for this one. Silver and blue. Now let's go for gold. Again, same thing. New sponge. But this time I want to try something different. Add it there. This time add a yellow next to it. Maybe even add brown, or actually copper. I like this one. This one looks nice. A little bit more. I think I added too much. <laughs> well, it happens. Let's see how this looks. Start dabbing up and down to blend it better. Now these are the two choices that I've created for myself. No, no, I, I like this one better, so now that I've chosen the colors, put that aside along with these. 
you know, for fun, I end up using this one. I like the design. So really when it comes to art journal, you can plan as you go ahead. Well, it always works out. Um, but I suggest that you do majority of the planning before. And as soon as like the, um, the colors like start to come together with this and then you have like an idea of what to make in the journal, you can start like adding some more stuff if you want to, which is what I've done right there. All right, now it's time to choose the spot in your journal. Just gonna flip through these kind of things, these pages, just so you can have an idea of the kind of things that I do in here. I have a lot of poetry, a lot of poetry. Here I have another spot where I can actually make, write another poem down. See, like I said, I like owls. <laughs> here we go see I find the thing about journals especially the kind of journals that I have which are like tied to a leather covering um, they tend to tear considering that they're only held together by thread here so that's what I use tape for I like to put it down in the middle especially the masking tape the masking tape you're like you're able to actually draw and paint on it so yeah can put it in the middle just not to be perfect all right now that we have that down there is something that I did choose uh, another thing that I wanted to add to my page which was a little poem on this night my head spins jumps from one to another thought can I fight pull those pins and break these chains off my heart now, I don't exactly know why I wrote it, but all I know is that I just like the sound of it, so it sounds, you know, pretty. <laughs> now I just lay them down. I might add this on the side. It's the best part about, like, not adding anything to the pages yet, just yet. But like try to get an idea of how to do this. I might end up putting the poem right here. And then just like the picture of an owl here. Hmm. You get this moment where this time when it comes to art journaling, this one little moment here where you can just like adjust things and basically just put them however you want. However you feel fits. Ooh. <laughs> might have picked. Okay, I think this is how I'm going to put it. I'm not sure. Anyways, yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial of how to prepare to make art journaling. I'll see you in the next video.